growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be. And welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. And we in a new season, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, we always bring you the hottest artists in the city. You know what I'm saying? And today in the hot seat, you know what I'm saying? We got no other than, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know, somebody that's been out here, you know, soul searching. You know what I'm saying? Somebody out here that's been tapping in with the greater deals of artists around here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy QP. Shout out to my boy J. Uh, J. Rock Obama, man. They out here doing um, extraordinary work. You know what I'm saying? But salute. Yeah, salute two times. But I want to say for y'all, man, everybody pull up your blunts. You know what I'm saying? Fire up. Get your drinks. You know what I'm saying? Because today, like I said, in the high seat, we got see-through in the building, baby. What's going down? What's up with it, man? What's going down, man? I appreciate you coming out. You know what I'm saying? Man, Reaching out. You. Good yeah. to meet you, man. We're good meeting you too, man. That's what this whole podcast is about, getting to know everybody. The ones that I do know and the ones that I don't know and shed light on what y'all got going on. And for the ones out there that don't know, you know what I'm saying, please tell them where you from and who you are. Yeah, what up, man? My name is See Through, man, and I'm from Planet Earth, Dallas. From the southwest side of Dallas, from 232, Oak Cliff, whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I'm from Dallas, man. You know, tomorrow born and raised, all like, been in a lot of schools. Man, I'm from the motherfucking city. So, <coughs> what started your journey with this music? What started my journey with the music, man, is, um, I don't know, bro. Like, I just started doing music, man. Um, I just started rapping and shit when I was like about seven years old. Seven or eight, I'm gonna say eight years old, I started rapping, man. I was rapping off my um, my uh, pops uh, jazz tapes and shit. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, from the tissue in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and oh, yeah, to the cassette tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. And, yeah the, uh, put a uh, cassette tape to the side, get an eight bar loop, put another one of them, then put that whole back and get an eight bar loop, start building a whole motherfucking beat. I done all of that. Oh, shit. you were DJing? Um, oh, yeah, you were DJing. Yeah, you That's basically what it is. Yeah, that's how I had, what I had to do then because I had never seen a recording studio at the time. Okay. But then, um, four doors down from me, a um, studio was built. It okay. was called uh, Gooder Good Records, and it was a, a record label built in the house, and it was um, like a full um, um, full record label, you know what I'm saying? And they did, they specialized in blues music and shit like that. Okay. It was a couple of artists from out of Dallas, a couple of rappers and shit, people like singing Clarence, like different different people, you know what I'm saying? Um, I met Johnny Taylor. Okay. But um, I feel like I manifested that shit because I was already um, in my room uh, you know, play, rapping on my uh, Walkman and shit, right, on my right. Pops records and shit, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, man, and put a studio on the door and all that shit, man. They used to just fucking fantasize about recording studios and then they build one photo down. It just happened like that. Okay, so who you growing up listening to that inspired you to rap? At that time, man, it had to be like 94, probably shit, 93, 92, actually. Okay, 92. <clears throat> that was a different time in rap, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everything was fresh. Something, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was changing, you know what I'm saying? It was vamp. It was real hard gangster rap. So at that time, it was a lot of gangster rap. Oh, um, my bro had the uh, motherfucking Colors record. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? With Ice T. Ice T? <laughs> he had uh, Eric B and Rakim. Um, back then, we used to listen to 44B. That was the cable channel. You flipped it back on the B, and you got the box network. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, I grew up on Compton, Most Wanted, you know what I'm saying? A lot of West Coast rap music, bro. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't Scarface, if it wasn't um, the Dungeon Family and shit, you know what I'm saying? Well, at that time, Outkast. Right. If it wasn't that Southern Play Alistic album, uh, you know, or Suave House, you know, coming in at that time, around that time. Tony uh, Draper. Yeah, Tony Draper and shit. And, uh, it, was, it was a lot of West Coast shit. And it was some East Coast shit in the mix, too, though. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. KRS-One right. and shit. Yeah, KRS-One was always in the mix. I don't think he never stopped. He, he, he never did give it up right there. Yeah, I, I liked the when he said, uh, uh, a lot of niggas talking, uh, what do you say, uh, um, Damn, I forgot what that nigga say, y'all. Uh, this and that, but a lot of y'all niggas just weep, weep, whack. What he was saying, uh, the number one thing is don't fuck with Chris. That's what oh, got okay. to okay. that's my name, you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. So that's why I, I kind of, you know what I'm saying? And then at that point, that's when I started writing, though, you know what I'm saying? Started writing shit, and that's when I kind of got into the shit, man. I always, I always wrote, you know what I'm saying? I always wrote. I've been doing music for a long, long time, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> so, <coughs> it wasn't nobody. Locally, like local that you were listening to? Like what, uh, rappers? Uh, mm -hmm. Nah, nah. Um, 
I remember Nemesis used to be in the trunk back then. Right. Um, the cast that used to be in the trunk back then was uh, Nemesis. Um, I used to hear. Uh, let's see. Uh, Shit, man, I remember seeing Oak Cliff Assassin everywhere. Okay, okay, you know Oak Cliff Assassin was everywhere. Yeah, I remember seeing them yeah. in a heavy promo, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, then they was a wrecking to perform with, too. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, fuck, who am I forgetting anybody? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, around that time, you know, Oak Cliff Assassin was, was, was thick and Nemesis was thick. Nemesis. Because what's not had that already. Come As I got it. older, I started, you know, uh, Rally Boys, right. Gator Man, oh, uh, Grass House. Oh, yeah, uh, Grass House, yeah. Uh, John Doe and all them. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Big Chief used to Big be Chief over there. Big Chief was over yeah, there. Yeah, shout out Rallo. Yeah, like, Rallo. I used to listen to all that. Hey, Miss Johnson, oh, you gonna let me fuck? This, <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you gonna let me fuck, Miss Johnson. Yeah. So, so it started developing, I mean, through that time, you know what I'm saying? But to be 100, <laughs> man, I grew up off West Coast shit, bro. I grew up off a lot of West Coast, man. I like that funk shit, uh, you know, and they had that funk shit, you know? Yeah, they had that funk shit. You don't see yeah. what, what I, I see, see yeah. every day. As Warren G, I take a look up on my yeah. shoulder as I get older, get inside of motherfucking Sam Warren. I told you, yeah, that regular. Like yeah, I like good music, and I don't yeah. put. A, I, we didn't put a destination on that shit because niggas used to sprout up out of nowhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. When the motherfuckers. It's nine and nine and for your bonus, nigga. Yeah, yo, Cleveland. We're like, who the fuck is that, nigga? Oh, what? Fucking with that shit before niggas was fucking with that shit. Like, yeah. the niggas broadcasting on 44B. That's where we used to get that shit right then. Wu Tang Clan. We used to, all right, so the studio down the street from my crib, right? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? They used to get uh, solicited music from major record labels and AR. Oh, so okay. we used to get like white label CDs and shit, you know, um, Master P. Oh. Yeah, Master P. We got uh, cause Master P used to come to the neighborhood. Bro. Right. He was the ice cream man. Right. And he's come to the neighborhood. They used to, I know he done been to the neighborhood about two or three times. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, hold on, what was I saying? So we used to get these uh, CDs, you know, they say not for sale, and it'd be straight from the record label right. and shit. But uh, Wu Tang, you know what I mean? Everything from Loud Records used to come there. Right. And, um,. We used to get that shit, man, to be we was jamming that Wu Tang, bro. That Wu Tang clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Yeah, they on the streets. Uh, I, mean, I know you seen they show. Yeah, yeah they, they had a pretty dope, man. Yeah, that was pretty dope to uh, kind of figure out, you know what I'm saying, find out um, the whole background, you know what I'm saying. I want to know if the story true about Big Homie uh, getting out of jail, walking around town, like just, just whooping niggas. Oh, yeah, that one nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to know if that's had, true. He had to shoot that nigga, didn't Yeah, he had to shoot that yeah, nigga, yeah, shit. Yeah. But nigga ain't died, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. say nigga didn't snitch neither. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They say the shit. I mean, they say it's true. Yeah. But you know how they do on the um, movies. They got that Bella shit. You know <laughs> but even if, even that's still a good story to learn. Fact, right, fact. definitely. So, hey, I'm gonna tell you, uh, H Town came hard though. You know what I'm saying? We watched H Town had a run. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We watched H Town. Being in Dallas, we watched H Town sneak up. And then had a motherfucking run, and then it had nothing to do with rap a lot of Scarface. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, like Fat Pat. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That screw shit yeah. started. Look, Kiki yeah, came. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Southside. Southside. Oh, South okay. Hey, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but uh, Swab House, man, Mr. Mike. Niggas mm -hmm. like that, man. That's who um, still motivate my pen yeah, right now. Mr. You know what I'm saying? If I had pneumonia, Crime I still boss. sag on the corner. Crime boss. Yeah, all that shit. Yeah. Um. Those are things that get a nigga. You know what I'm saying? But I like now. I still. I put on some too short. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah I put on some yeah. too short any motherfucking day. My boy you know what I'm on that sugar free. Oh, I fuck with sugar yeah. free heavy. I fuck <laughs> yeah. with free heavy, man. Ben fuck with sugar free. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like that Sibo. You know, know your Sibo mm -hmm. brother Lynch and you yeah, know brother Lynch. Um, uh, man, I remember the first time nigga hearing brother Lynch. That nigga was so cold. It was looking like, like God damn. I mean, yeah. it was a family reunion, and I went in the back and shit in the back room. I heard that nigga going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That nigga got that voice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That nigga was screaming EBK and shit. All day to the day I died, all that motherfucking me, uh, when yeah, I heard him on that beat. Big was in there, damn that shit. That I hit that nigga up for about four zones. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> Death a minute dry, way so wet, so the six four. Why? Couldn't keep it no more. That motherfucker was filthy. More dead bodies than been in that thing. Much of where in that tension where we had a bullet hole by the gas tank. <laughs> 1500 in the bank. Hey, I, yeah, I was thinking about that shit. I was like, uh, that album is a testimony to Master P's hustle, bro. It's like, damn. It's like that, uh, goddamn, uh, let me do it one more time. Oh, you good? Shit, we getting lit, shit, goddamn. That, uh, that, 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 that old, it's a testimony to P hustle because, man, 
saying? That nigga put all them niggas together. <coughs> Fuck how the movie look. The soundtrack right. finna go so hard. Right, and it went hard. I'm finna link the bay up, the west coast, uh, west coast up with these niggas down south. And, uh, and he did that shit. And this shit finna go. Yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom. Yeah, yeah, gotta give it up to people. But E40 and B legit always been my boy though. Yeah, man, yeah. click. And yeah. they always been attached to Dallas too. They always yeah. had like an attachment and shit. Right. Man. Mm -hmm. We used to go to the barbershop over off of, um, our barbershop back in the day was off of Hampton and uh, Hampton and Ledbetter. And over there by the old head shop and shit. That uh -huh. motherfucker used to just be lit like nigga right. in the back, shooting dice Cross and shit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that motherfucker stay high. Next to yeah. that text, where he used to be a text yeah, comeback. Uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, um, them niggas used to come up there, they, well, or they team used to come up there and just give out their samples, uh, sample tapes and shit, the right. click and shit. Every time it was a new tape out, niggas come up there and hand them hoes out. Yeah, they always stay heavy in the streets, man. I, love, I like their progression. So, like, what, okay, so, like, what, what, what made you understand and come? True to your style, like have you found your style yet, or what do you consider yourself as a musician right now, or uh, as an artist? Man, I, I, I've been. I used to rap real fast, you know what I'm saying? Right. I used to rap fast. Then I used to rap. Yeah, I used, to, I used to rap real fast, you know what I'm saying? But now I feel like I have came into myself, man. But I don't feel like um, I don't feel like I'm at nothing that I'm sticking with, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. Right. It just uh just depends on what I'm jamming to, you know what I'm saying? Right. What, what the beat's saying, what I'm feeling and shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so I feel like right now I'm touching a new style, though. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So, like, all right, so, like, let me see how I can put these questions, okay? So, when was the first time you got in the studio and you really you really laid something for, for other ears or onlookers to really pay attention to, to notice that, okay, you got something? Uh, Okay. Uh, the first album I put out that I invested fully in, you know what I'm saying, and it was in the stores, you know what I'm saying, distribution, uh, that was in all the stores in Dallas and shit, it was called When Opportunity Meets Preparation. Okay. We recorded that album at the uh, Dallas Sound Lab, you know what I'm saying, and that's that's probably, that's the, the only ori album. Original Sound Lab? Mm-hmm. Okay. All yeah, right. that, that's the only one uh, in Studio A. That's Studio the, A, okay. Yeah, I got it, uh, I, we spammed the whole shit, I still got the footage to that shit too, it's on YouTube somewhere. Okay. But, um, yeah, that, that was the first one, you know what I'm saying, and that was 2008 when we recorded, 2007, 2008. Okay, but uh, yeah, when opportunity was preparation. Oh, so man. you came out when, when the boogie boogie movement was really dead, yeah. Dallas was it? somewhere else. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dallas was somewhere else, and I was somewhere else. Shit, I was. Right. Uh, I wasn't listening to this shit. You right, know what I'm right, saying? right, right. Nothing that, that, that Dallas was listening to at that time. You know what I'm right. saying? Or what Dallas was actually doing. Right. In 2009. But it was a gumbo at that time because you still you gotta realize you were coming out the era of Gator Man, Cotton Miles, and you still had that 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 thick gangster era. But you still had the people that wanted to you know pop the ball, yeah. balls, mm -hmm. and then you had the ones that wanted to jig. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You, had, yeah. you had a mixture. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Drugs was them them, them pills was heavy. Yeah, them pills were heavy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Alright, so so you still ain't in to find yourself on that first album. Okay, so when you put the album out, what, I mean. What was your proud moment about that album? What was your favorite song on that album? Or what 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 uh, album or what song led you to more opportunities off that album? Um, I don't know what song led me to more opportunities, but the album itself. Because see, one thing, bro, that ain't my first album. That's okay. my first album, barcode, package it, printed up, CD, pressed up. Official. Yeah, that was my first like fucking you know album. Not just like we got towel and we just pressing the whole. Cause see. I put out an album called Mastermind. This was 2003. Okay. And that whole, um, we got in the streets, man. You okay. know what I'm saying? Back yeah. then, shit, yeah. we be at, uh, at motherfucking Stephanie's. We be at Rosoni's on Home Street. Definitely. Oh, we, be on, ML, oh, we be on MLK. <laughs> oh, we be on Pine Street. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm talking about Fridays and Saturdays, mm -hmm. bro. And look, at early in the morning, we would get up, me and my partner little game shit. We'd get up, we have on some shorts, some, you know what I mean, the white tee. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. White tee, nigga looking crisp. <laughs> By motherfucking seven or eight, nigga, that white tee is dingy than a motherfucking bro. But I'm going to tell you something, our pockets like this. Yeah. Yeah. I pocket like that. Because, right. see, back then, Dallas, when you bought beer, 
You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, or you bought liquor or beer and shit, but that's before they start selling beer. That's what killed the game for yeah. me, man, when, yeah. they, when they start selling beer on this side of town. Yeah. But back then, they get everybody getting out of work and they going to the sis house before they go to the his house. You know what I'm saying? And I was that nigga like, I'm in front of the bootleggers. Let's say one nigga, I got my new album, bro, check. Cause see, we used to beat the bootleggers. Right, Cause right. I five dollars a pop, nigga. Like, you selling what? And the nigga be like, I got that new R. Kelly song. So the nigga be like, you selling what? I said, nigga, this my shit. I just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Drop this shit, record this shit, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And my partner had an album. That's just what <coughs> I did, bro. But we'll make a buy easily for five, easy. four five hundred dollars. Easy. You know what I'm saying? Go to Fry's or go to wherever you go. You get your, you get your CDs, press them up. Fry's, go get the deal. Go yeah. get that. Go yeah, uh, get the hundred stack deal. for the twenty one. Put a hat on, go there, go do it. Come back, they got on some glasses and another hat. Yeah. Cause you know you can do it one at a time shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Them, yeah. Get them hundred packs, man. I still got them and shit, man. I still got all my old music. I got music on tape uh, at my crib from when I was 14. You know what I'm saying? I say, yeah, see, you can make that an NFT. So I bought my first studio. I, st we start I started buying studio equipment when I was 14. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Yeah, I got started buying the trap recorder, Tascam trap recorder, uh, Zoom 123B machine. You know what I'm uh, saying? I uh, said in my um, my song, It's the Beginning, I said when I was uh, young, I said all I wanted for Christmas was a four track Tascam recorder. Uh, uh, Boom 123B, a sure microphone in the yeah. uh, Boom 123B machine. With the and orange one, that's the black one. Which one? The, um, the Boom machine? machine, yeah. The, uh, it was a little square box. Yeah, the square one, I know that, yeah. And it had them pads going across like this. Yeah, you don't remember color? It was the, cause you know they had it the orange, black, 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 okay, they yeah, had the orange, black. black, and the red one. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, they showed it. Yeah. It moved it like 200. You yeah, know that, was, that was the shit. You plug yeah, the yeah. headphones in that motherfucker, yeah, and then yeah. it got the recorder too. Yeah, You put it through the Taz can, I already know. Yeah, them in and out. Yeah. Task yeah. Oh, I got, I got, still got my, all my task cam cassette tape. Yeah. From when I was fourteen. Nah, that's what's up. Nah, that's what's up. You and know I what I'm saying? I got in the little behind combinations when my niggas come over, we get fucked up. And them niggas don't even rap no more, you know, ain't right. rapped in years. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. But when they come over, we get fucked up, we're gonna trip out and start popping them hoes, laying them out on the table, popping them hoes out. Ugh. Yeah, you remember and, this? And yeah. everybody rapping and shit, that shit like, ooh, they, we, we were dope back then. Back then, man, um, I'm gonna tell you who uh, showed us love, bro. Cause we used to perform at Club Diamonds and shit. Okay, Diamonds. So I went to Winfrey. I know you heard of Winfrey. Winfrey's Academy. Yeah. Four days out. Yeah, yeah. Wait, four hours a day. <coughs> four hours a day. I went to Winfrey. We all went to Winfrey. And then on Thursday nights, uh, sometimes Saturday nights, but on Thursday nights, we'll be performing at Club Diamonds. Right. And we'll be uh, uh, performing with uh, Stampede, Stampede Records. Shout out, so, shout out the whole Stampede for one yeah, Shout out, salute to uh, Bowlegs, Bo Bo B Flat, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, all that. B Flat, yeah, 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 for real. And B Love. B Love, <laughs> <A> Razor, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Square but, um, but yeah, man, we used to perform and shit at, uh, we'd be up there late in the motherfucker, man. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be up there late and then gotta go to school right across the street. The next morning and shit, uh, but um, that, they, they used to, you know what I'm saying? They, it was called Throw Thursdays. Okay. And uh yeah, yeah, yeah man, we used to perform uh we used to and so perform, y'all perform up there. Nah, you good. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm catching you, you know what I'm saying? That's what we here for, you know what I'm saying? So so when y'all perform there, who who was in the crowd you know saying like okay Guess who the nigga was then, bro? Who? Like the nigga they used to come in that hole and kill it, dog, and who? it's over. Who? Uh Gator Man, bro. <laughs> Gator Man. Gator Man, hey, cause Gator Man would fuck with uh, Stampede real tough right yeah, then. Yeah. He'd be on high street shit. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, dog, that nigga was coming that hoe, man. That nigga was a real star, my nigga. Still yeah. is, still yeah, is. is. But man. back then, bro, at that that height of that, yeah. Hallelujah, oh, oh clear, nigga. Man, say, town, nigga. We, we clown, nigga. nigga. Man. <laughs> yeah. One, it was one time we had this show opening up for um, UGK. Okay. At Club Diamonds and shit, man. And uh, that bitch got so packed. It got thick. If we was supposed to open up and shit, it was me and the same niggas that's on the tape. We was called MHN, Money Hungry Niggas. Okay. Money Hungry Niggas. But uh, uh, we was supposed to perform and shit, man. And UGK was outside and shit, man. We crumb, we young niggas. You know, I ain't supposed to be in this hole. Right. You know what I'm saying? They can lose their liquor license. They keep reminding nigga that shit. But um, man, that nigga Gator Man got on stage, nigga. Every time they get on stage, that nigga had these about 25, 20 people on that hell with him. You know what I'm saying? Just I'm talking about when you see, you look around, if nigga was there from out of town, that nigga look around, everybody in that bitch know every word. Right. 
Everybody know Ed Reno. That's the anthem. Now, I mean, them songs, anthem. I mean, I mean, he, he branded that. I mean, I can't yeah. even do one like that, man. Came out, took that shit to a whole nother level. Salute, gave him and man. Ain't no, gave man. Yeah, two times, you know what I'm saying? For real, like, and we're gonna make sure we brand that in that comment because, yeah, Brett Gator, man, he. he really, I seen it with he my set own the bar. eyes. And look, when that nigga leave, nigga, it's like an entourage left that motherfucker, bro. You know what I'm saying? But uh, right after he got off stage, maybe somebody else performed, but we was supposed to get up there. They was calling our name, man. Nigga started scrapping in that bitch. Niggas start like the whole club start rolling and shit, motherfucking chair when it all in the air and shit. That was a good old day. That yeah, was a good old day. UGK man. was outside. Right there, I know, Them man. Niggas were outside. Man, and don't feel bad. Saying, I got, I got, I got outside. Oh, we saw I got UGK out there and shit. You think I'm gonna bring these niggas in here with this shit? Oh, I couldn't have liked some. Shit, don't feel bad. They did us like that too. At uh, what was that um? Uh, was it Chris Style out there in Arlington? Mm -hmm. They did us like that too, you know what I'm saying? We out there in the fighting in the back, you know what I'm saying? UGK on stage performing oh. like a motherfucker, young jock, young jock in that motherfucker. <laughs> My nigga HB mad at motherfucking D cause D don't uh, D don't wanna let the nigga young jock come back to the studio and get some drops. So it was like, boy, that was a hell of a night, man. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. so niggas with the ig <laughs> shit, niggas with the bus shit. So who started putting you so who started putting you in the anybody start putting you in certain positions, you know what I'm saying, after that night or you no, know, no, what, what inspired no, after that man. night? It was still nobody, just the same. Nobody ever really put me in a position, man. Right. I had people to um I had people to help me, right? For sure, you know. I had some people to help me and be blessings, but nobody ever put me in no position, right? Everything I'm doing, everything I do is off the muscle, and and that's cool, bro. right? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Shit, I don't, so, I ain't expect this shit. What is, what is it? Okay, so what do you expect from the music, though? From when you music? Do, yeah, what do you expect from the music? Man, really, right now I'm back to where I just want to touch some people. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. I just want my shit to touch some people. You know what right. I'm saying? I want people to who's in the feeling music like that. You know what I'm saying? I want them to feel what a nigga saying, you know what I'm saying? Like back when I used to sell music on the street, you used to be able to see the effect that it did, you know what I'm saying? Because I would always put my phone on the back of the CD. Right. And motherfuckers would, was call, start blowing a nigga phone up, you know right. what I'm saying? I didn't have motherfuckers crying and shit. It's right. like, bro, I'm going through this, that, and the third, nigga. I feel like nigga just, God, just put you here, you know what I'm saying, for me to hear this fucking right, album, right, you know what right. I'm saying? Um, that was a better effect. So for what I do, I just invest money in making sure motherfuckers hear my shit when they drop. Nah, that's and, right. That's and right. motherfuckers fuck with it, that's cool. I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't trying to be Kodak Black, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. I'm already the shit, my nigga. Already the shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not afraid. You, you know, know what I'm saying? You gotta feel that. You gotta feel that in your own right. Yeah, for real. Yeah, man. You ain't shit to yourself. You ain't right. to nobody else. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm harder than a lot of motherfuckers. I know my shit dope. So, right, but right. at the end of the day, it's. Hey. The but music is just it, music. It, but it's a business too. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. that's a business. And that, and that and that's the natural part of it, bro. You right. know what I'm saying? And. Yeah, that's the natural part. That's kind of what took the soul away from it, too, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But then again, it don't, too, because, you know, then again, once you know the business and you know what you can do with the business, yeah. you know how to then put your soul back in. Yeah. Right, then right, right. Time. And right. then when it's, when it's like that, that's when the shit work out for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so what's some things you wish you would have known before you even started your journey into this music? Man? The, put my heart, don't don't put my heart into the shit. Like right. I put my heart first. Yeah, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Cause then when you think like an artist, you you put your heart first. You start to think like an artist. Right. You know what I'm saying? And follow. You know. Yeah. Right. That, that right. type of shit. Oh, uh, but I feel you. I feel. You. So how'd you hook up with QP and, and, and uh, J Rock? Uh, oh, wow. well, okay. So me and QP. Used to perform uh, back with uh, Coon. Rest in peace to Coon. Wait a minute, hold Coon on. Delaney. What you man? Hold on, man. What 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 the hell you know about Coon Shit, I used to perform at um at Tropics. Yeah, well, no, no, no. Um, uh, what's the name? Uh, goddamn Palm, Palm Beach. Beach. Yeah, I was at Palm Beach all the time. What was at Palm man, Beach? Man, we done had to. We done had to. Told you, we done probably had to. <laughs> not Robies. Not Robies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, shit, I done done some parties by myself. I done a. Yeah, I mean, if I fucked with Coon all the way, what, since like 2002? To up until he passed and shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, damn, yeah, we definitely don't have to uh, 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 cross paths. I'm pretty sure. Definitely, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, shit, so, man, me and QP, we been already connected through all them years, but we ain't never record with each other, though. Mm. So, shit, it was just the time. It was just really, you know what I'm saying? They getting the right track, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Right, so that what, that track was the right track. Yeah. yeah so right who track. came up with the concept? 
uh, I did. I came up with the uh, well, you know what? My partner wrote the hook. Okay. I found the beat. My partner wrote the hook. No, I found the beat. I wrote the verse, and then my partner wrote the hook, and then QP wrote the last verse, or QP wrote the verse, and then my nigga found the hook, something like that. So who who idea was it to put this visual together like this to make it like okay? I wanted it. Because oh, that's all me. That's all me. Oh, so that's I all you. Car, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, yeah, yeah, all of that shit. Right, because it make it stand out. You like dressed you, up. You made you. You were basically. It was a statement. My lifestyle, man. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I see you. I see. I see you out there. I see you wearing the beans and everything. Boy, <laughs> come you know, shit, I ain't, yeah. I ain't you know, yeah. shit. I'm a, I'm a businessman. You right. know what I'm saying? Shit. Even with no. Right, right, right. <laughs> even if the rap ain't gonna do it. Yeah. Right. What you into real estate? Which, what, what you what, what? You know what I'm saying? I'm, nah, into, you know. I'm into some a few things. Few right. Things. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. What you got planned for the future? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what you want to be dim dab in the future? Hey, uh, in the future, man, I don't know, man. Like right now, I'm fucking with this truck and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I'm fucking with this truck and shit, and then I'm on, I'm on some other, shit. I'm on a few more things. Okay. But uh, shit, I don't know though. I don't know, man. I'm yeah. gonna make this rap shit. You gonna make the rap? Okay, all right. So you say you're working on the project. Okay, all right. So what can we expect from this project right here that you're working on? Uh, shit. What can you expect, man? Man, I don't know, man. I guess uh, more uh. Just some dope ass shit, man. Right, right. How many tracks? Uh, I don't know yet. You don't know? You like, you got a name for it yet? Yeah. Uh, but I don't know if I want to say it because okay. I don't know if okay. it's gonna be the name. I'm okay, at that okay. stage of it. Oh, okay. All right. So you you bubbling with it right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. But I got a visual already of the uh, of the title and the cover. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got a picture of my T Jones. Um, I got a picture of my T. Jones. She got an arm over me like this. Right. You know what I'm saying? And she got like a gun in her hand, but it's a cap gun. Okay. But okay. the picture just looks so dope. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? And uh, Jamie Foxx is uh, standing next to it. It's like, you know what I'm saying, early 90s and shit. The younger okay. Jamie Foxx standing next to it's like a group picture and shit. Okay, and shit. okay. But um, I don't know. I think I'm going to. I'm going to. I was thinking about like fading everything out around and just having uh, that picture of me and my T. Jones, though. Cause it's a dope ass picture and I'm thinking about calling that album either uh, loyalty or protected. Okay, so it's more sentimental. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So what's your, okay. How many tracks you don't record so far? Uh, I'm probably like about 13 in. 13 in? No, that's, that's yeah, pretty I dope. Got, I'm gonna add on the songs that I already got that got videos to them too. Right. Cause all of my songs I've been doing. Cause what I've been doing is just songs and visuals, songs and visuals. Right. So I'm, gonna, I'm just basically gonna create something to, to get all of those together, but bring on, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Uh, some new shit. Right, you, know you plan on traveling with it? Um, like you mean outside, as far as, uh, getting outside of here with on it. footwork? Yeah, get outside uh, of here with it. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I don't you know, know what I'm saying? Go perform, you know what I'm saying? Go show, go show the world what you got. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they gotta pay to see me, man. That's the thing, <laughs> with me at performance. I don't give a fuck about hitting your stage. <clears throat> I'm keeping 100. Right. I don't know if you heard an artist say it that's local, but I don't give a fuck about hitting your stage. I right. can do create my own stage. So if you come to me about performing, please pay me. Or don't fucking hit me. Up. Right, right. So you say you create your own menu. So like, like what you you do like ranches or clubs or uh, yeah clubs and shit. And house, you do house party still. Shit, I, I wouldn't mind. Like, Man, I haven't seen a good party. one in a minute. Real, yeah, I wouldn't mind putting off a house party, uh, cause I see them on um online. You know, you go online and order your little spaces or right. whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. I just find a space and I tap in with my fan base. Right, right, you know right, what I'm saying? right. And my fan base, they loyal. Like when I tap into them, they right. know I can react. I can make them. You know what I'm saying? Just react. right. From, even if I drop a video, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I already got a system set up to where I can get like in contact with my fans, get in touch, I'm trying directly to their phone. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right, man, that's what's up, man. Even halfway fans. Yeah. Shout out to all of them. And they not, fans. Fans, they yeah. not my fans, though. They not my fans. I'm sorry. People. Let me stop saying people. fans. You know what I'm saying? My people. people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me, let me stop yeah. that and get that out of Because I know <laughs> that shit is sometimes received wrong. And, right. I, and I don't want, ever want to speak arrogantly or nothing like that. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. That's why I ain't good at just telling people everything I got going on and shit. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. I'm more about shit. I mean, explain I think, shit. I think that's what a lot of a lot of us down here in Dallas kind of like that, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I understand it. Kind of a little reserved at the Right, right, you know right. You know what I'm saying? Especially when we trying to iron stuff out. You know, we trying to get stuff right, and we gotta make sure people who with us. You know what I'm saying? We yeah, show that man. same respect. So, like, who'd you who'd you grow up listening to that? You know, um, 
that you can say that that's like your your, your top three, uh, you know, in the industry in in Dallas. Uh, in the industry, man, I would say you know what I'm saying. Uh, Tupac. Okay, we got a pop. Scarface. Face. Okay. Uh, that third spot could be Outkast or uh, Nas. I say Nas. I'm gonna get through okay. the Nas. Nas Adamus, Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's my top three. Okay. okay. Now locally, I don't got no one through nothing locally, man. But I'm gonna tell you, as far as albums, number one. I'm gonna say like, uh, nah, hell nah, this is no motherfucking order. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been, okay. And it could change. Okay. Hey, Rally Boys put out an album, album called Rally World. That bitch went hard, my nigga, on everything. I fuck with that hoe. Uh, um, let's see, uh, that Stampede album for sure. Okay. All that right. Stampede All right. album, yeah. Right. Um, that compilation with everybody yeah, on that bitch. Everybody on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Gator Man album. Which one? Uh, the uh, the first one. Usher. She from, he, he from Dallas? Yeah, Usher from Dallas. I ain't know that shit. Yeah, hey, yeah, Usher from Dallas. We got a lot of motherfuckers from there. We got some bad motherfuckers. Cash Page. Goddamn me. Uh, 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 uh. I don't think I heard none of Cash Page. Ooh, I, shit. I, I, nah, I'm, I'm playing. I done heard some of my shit. But I, I don't listen to that shit. I'm just saying, I don't listen to that shit. I'm keeping a bug. Oh, yeah, say, you know what's what, what arguably the hardest album to come out of Dallas, though, bro? What's that? That nigga still ain't fucked with? What? That Mr. Pookie album, bro. That Mr. Pookie album, we're all in the bitch. Ripper, bro. That hoe has got to be, like, the hardest. The way that bitch came out, yeah. the way them niggas really, them niggas bubbled, like, ain't nobody bubbled the way that them niggas bubbled at that, that time. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, right. niggas, I don't know where they came from. Like, right. you know what I mean? The album just, boop. You, Put that help. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, 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 that Pookie. K-Rock too, though. That K-Rock, yeah, that K-Rock album was, was like, it, the, it, it really birthed. Like, what, it, was, uh, what was that K-Rock? Uh, uh, the K-Rock uh, was uh, the Rockler. The Rockler. Uh, and then you had Mr. Pookie, the Rippler. Pookie, the Rippler. You know what I'm saying? That and then Lucha Dime Bottle. Lucha Dime Bottle. <laughs> Them three right there, I don't, ain't, ain't shit coming out of Dallas that's really, and you ask a, a nigga from Louisiana, they'll tell you that. Don't ask a Dallas nigga. Ask Louisiana nigga. Oh, you know what I'm saying, nigga? That's from Shreveport. They gonna say, yeah, that, that, that. Man, uh, I, I went to Indiana and motherfuckers was like, man, where Luchi and Pookie at? Yeah, they still yeah. drop, you know what I'm saying? Somebody like, just went hard. Like, yeah. song for song, it was it was dope, bro. Yeah. Perfect timing. Yeah, yeah, And the did. beats yeah. all sound and sweaty. That, that yeah, shit yeah, was dope, bro. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a, it had, was a, it was that's something right yeah. there. When hip, like, it's Dallas more right. music, that's something that sit by itself. When you, like, say, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I and I, and I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? That is a fact. You know what I'm saying? But you know, back then too, because did you ever used to watch Flavor? Yeah. And all Flavor that TV. stuff. That, yeah. Because I remember you was talking about the box. So I know if you know the box, you know what I'm saying? I know you know Flavor yeah, TV. Yeah, I know Flavor TV. Yeah, you know. Sure. So back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing Scar. Uh, first time I seen Scarface, Mary Jane was on, was on uh, Flavor, Flavor TV. TV. Yeah. yeah. Saturday. Yeah, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff was first on, on Flavor TV for us, you know what I'm saying, in the box, you know what I'm saying? What were you going But, um, it was, that man say, who was that? Big Al, that already, I mean, in, the, in, the, in that Bobo Lucha, I know. How they go, how they go? That, uh, uh, that already, when Trump, already. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 they, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, bitch, get up off me, hope, get up off me, trick, get up yeah, off me, yeah, you know what I'm saying, that yeah, bobo, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so they had, you know, man, you know, yeah, cause I listen to the Dirty South show and all that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a lot, of, it's a lot of, it was a lot, you know what I'm saying, that was coming out, but you is right though, when, um, Pookie dropped his shit, that shit took over, and then when they had the radio success with the uh, Diabolical song, you know what I'm saying, even though he had, I feel like... Hey, it was, but look, when them niggas, I see, I was going to Skyline at this time, Yeah. and I think them niggas was uh, selling, they was selling CDs at the school, yeah. they was, bro, they yeah. had to be, because mm -hmm. that's where I got the fucking album from. And you'll be walking down the hallway hearing motherfuckers saying, Lay it down, I'm a crook for life. It wasn't no video yet. It wasn't no radio play. It wasn't none of that yeah. shit. It was like, this, yeah. I'm talking about like a so straight like, damn, these niggas, they grinding. Yeah. Gotta be. Mm -hmm. yeah, they I need, I wanna, that's something I wanna ask them, boy. Like, what was y'all doing, bro? Y'all had, they had to been out in front of the school or something. Man, Kevin, they had them with Kevin, they. Yo, man. Kevin, they had them boys, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I just realized on the podcast when they told me, you know what I'm saying? Kevin, they was with Death Row. 
I so, didn't know that. One. I didn't know that one either. You know what I'm saying? That that took me by surprise. Mm -hmm. That nigga had a sound. Mm -hmm. do, do, he had a sound. Do. He had a sound, you know what I'm saying? And I, man, and Greg's house had a sound too. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, Young Hustlers had a sound yeah. too. That nigga, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What you know yeah. about yeah, yeah there, man? man. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm from the saw you, man. I'm from Dallas, Dallas. But they yeah, everybody out there, uh, what's up, yeah, there? They say they be sleeping on that, on that, and say that's another producer in the city that y'all be sleeping on. Y'all yeah. know, man. Say He's an entrepreneur back man. then, man. He yeah. was like, niggas yeah. had their own shit. Yeah, him, Black my, G. Um, yeah, my partners from our neighborhood, my big homies. They used to go um when they used to go Oklahoma perform. Yeah. Like that. My niggas used to roll with the niggas and shit. Okay. Alright. So yeah, you were here from the soil, man. You tapped in, man. So like, okay, we were talking about uh uh your 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 top three. So we had uh from Dallas, you had Rally Boys on there. Oh albums. And you said That's a bias. That's some bias. You said Pookie. That's some bias shit. I'm gonna <laughs> put Pookie at number one, bro. Everything else can just be moving. Right. Every, that list I said was biased. All right, 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 okay. 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 Right, 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 right. I see. Okay. <laughs> that was biased, man. Cause look, like I said, I don't I ain't really been I don't I ain't jammed a lot of Dallas. Nigga, Dallas artists, nigga, a artist period gotta go hard. You gotta be dope. To be in my tape deck, nigga. I'm sorry. So God, you gotta be dope. It ain't just because you from down the street, my nigga. Yeah. Like if I listen to your shit in my circumference, my nigga, I right. need to be gaining something out of it. But if it's some dope shit, I'm gonna fuck with it. Right, right, right. But if it ain't, I ain't gonna fuck right. with that shit. I'm, right. I'm, 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 damn, I don't wanna sound like no old nigga. Okay, so back then, how did you used to tap in to find your music? Um, and I'm back talking about the, back then, not back, now, back now. Yeah, uh -huh, not it, now. Everything we jammed was uh, on the box. That box. Was, uh, it so was you good. never went to no record stores or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, we okay. go to Camelot. Uh, uh, but we go there, we already knew what we wanted and shit. Source okay. Magazine. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Source Magazine, and plus, like, we already knew who the hardest artist was, too. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? right. And right, then right. we fucked with everybody in the Bay, all that shit. Right. Uh, like you say, E40. Yeah, you got that. that Charlie yeah. Hustle, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we fucked with all that shit, so we were just dead in the hip hop, bro. Right. Who was like dead in the hip hop, bro? Like, hell yeah, man, shit, like all of that old shit, man. You know, everything off of Death Row. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. I everything. remember when Riding Dirty dropped and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Riding Dirty dropped. What was it that dropped right with Riding Dirty? And you talking about UGK guy. riding dirty, not 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 committing there, y'all. Oh no, I'm talking about Riding Dirty UK, and I want to say, uh, how long who was it? That too short, uh, just uh, they getting it. I think the most came out at the same Ooh. time, my G. I think they came out at the same time. That, 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 and, right. and you know that's 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 the time that, that's the time Quint Black was producing from. Yeah, Quint Black was up there. Salute to Quint Black. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Quint Black. You know what I'm saying? I know Quint Black. Yeah. What's up, Quint Black? Yeah, man. Hey, Quint Black got them stories. Man, man. say, man. <laughs> Quint Black got the say, stories. Say, not only got them stories, man. Have you ever listened to his nigga album? Who Quinn Black? Yeah, yeah. I'm here, that boy had some bad albums. He can mm -hmm. tell some stories on them albums. Yeah, dope producer, man. Mm -hmm. Dope yeah, producer. Yeah, really, dope, dope producer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Definitely got him on the track. Hey, hey, I got a song uh, called uh, "If They Ain't Hating, hey, Then You Know You're Doing Something Wrong." I put it out in 2012. Okay. Um, on the album I got uh, called um, "As Far As The Eyes Can See." Okay. And Quinn Black produced that. Huh? Okay. Oh yeah, I don't know that mother would do. Yeah, the whole hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how many projects you hey, got? Hey, Black, tell a nigga, though, he's a motivator nigga. Tell a nigga, like, say, my nigga, nigga, you want one of these, nigga. You want one of them checks at the door. You want them chicks that come to your mailbox, you know? He show a nigga, uh, show me. Um, yeah, he gonna always pull that up and show you got to get them chicks. So, so the chick at his house. So do you understand your publishing and everything? Hey, I mean, a, nigga, a man taught me that. My my big homie, my OG, taught me that shit when I was. About 14, 15, talking about. So if I gave so if I gave you quiz number one, would you take quiz number one? <laughs> My phone going out too. If you gave me quiz number one? Yeah, if I gave you quiz number one, can you answer these quiz these quiz questions? I don't I'm I don't specialize in coaching, <laughs> but go ahead and shoot. Alright, so if I was today to put out an album, you know what I'm saying? Let's just say fuck an album. Let's just say I'm gonna put out a single one song. Mm hmm what process as an artist does I take, do I take to make sure that I have an official release of an album? That you have an official release of an album? Mm -hmm. Uh, shit. Uh, what, so you get your... Uh, it's, a, it's a step. It's a step process. Whether you want to put out a single or album because you want to get your shit identified. So you want to get your URC code for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, get your URC code, get you a, um, 
what your um make sure you got your shit down publishing, make sure shit copyrighted and get your BDS shit together as far as with a uh, sound scan, you know what I'm saying? Get all your that's how you register your you you uh you that's where you're gonna need your URC code because that's gonna keep up with your BDS scans, that's how you locate your the shit. The ISRC code. Yeah, 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 uh -huh. yeah, yeah. ISRC code, yeah, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? And then your USOC code is your yeah. bar, bar code. code. Uh -huh. So uh yeah man, I mean that was, those are the the basic steps. I'm probably missing some because nah, you nah, I mean I'm gonna make I'm, sure I'm, you got somebody on the song through your distribution, you got this percentage already down, you get a split sheet from anybody that you involved with doing music. Right. Now even before we begin to do music, Music, it gotta be an understanding it's gonna be a split sheet. These are the splits. Say, these are my splits. These are how I do my splits. Right. And my shit is always 50 50 on right, the right, right side. Right, 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 right. It ain't no, ain't no ain't shit on that, you know right. what I'm saying? Um, right. But you wanna make sure that's taken care of while a person is in the studio with you or when they leave the studio. Okay. So if you got a home studio, you should have you a stack of split sheets paper. You know what I'm saying? Every studio should have them. And back in the day, they always did. So, but niggas um, didn't know what it was. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, okay, so I, I give you, I give you, I, I give, I'm gonna give you a B. I'm gonna give you an A. Okay, I really want to give you a B plus, but I'm gonna give you an A because I because you said everything right, you just went in the wrong order. But I'm gonna give you an A. Yeah, but I'm gonna give you an A though because you I'm got not, cause yeah. you ain't even. Ask, this what people never ask though is how to make money as an artist. Right. Now, not not you. What I'm saying right. a lot of people like to talk about the business and how shit go, and they can't show you a, a, a engine that they that they can build. Just like this will make money out of what we doing, you know. So, what I'm and that's the key. So when you that's said co key. copyright, when you said copyright, how many forms of copyright do an artist should have when they copyright a song? Um, when you copyright, I just do a regular copyright. I do my shit through the state. You can. I remember back in the day, I used to do a poor man copyright. That but, don't uh, work. Hell, yeah, nah, that don't work. Uh, but uh. I'm glad I done it because I opened up some envelopes that had old CDs and shit, shit yeah. a whole album. I'm like, fuck yeah, goddamn. Yeah. I just never mailed it out. Um, um, what was I at? Talking about copyrights. Oh, yeah, the copyrights. The shit, that's, I just make sure I do, um, you know, do the audio and then do the written. I just write, do the hint deal. The right, so, shit, yeah, so when you ask so, yourself, right, so you get an SR and a PA. Right, you know what I'm saying. See those, two, these two. When you get those, the SR and the PA, that's your money. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's your what you actually written, right? That's that's the, cause you got the sound recording copyright, and then you got the performance copyright. Yeah, you yeah. see what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So those two right there are gonna be your money maker. The old season and the, the, the trick to getting money is sh shopping your shit. It's not, it's not so, so play, you know, like, you know, how people trying to go to the clubs or get the radio and da 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 da. That's, that's a form of marketing. That's a, that's a lazy way. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that's a form that's of marketing. That's a lazy, like, not spending no money way. Yeah, though. yeah, but you want to go, you want to go tap in with the movies. You know what I'm saying? You want to license. You know what I'm saying? You want, if you're going to do business with another company, you want to. That's the way to do it. That's right. the way, but uh, the way that you, at the, at the beginning stages, what you want to do is, Build your brand up into something that people can buy into. Correct. And, and, and you'll be surprised the people that want to spend money with you. Right. You can right. Uh, hold your own event. Like I think I brought in like a hundred people in there. You know what I'm saying? That's good. I'll say somewhere around yeah seventy two. It, it was turned out to be pretty cool. You know right. what I'm saying? And, uh, and that's at twenty dollars a head. And that's building your brand. Yeah. Tell the artist how you build your brand. You make sure what. <laughs> um, hold on. Yeah, your mean, logo, if you got like this Adidas, you know this a, this is a brand. Sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when you see see through, everything you gonna see you see is gonna be see through. You know what I'm saying? Like, make sure you carry that everywhere you go. Yeah, man. I like I like man. I like your mind because you know a lot of cats don't be on that. You know what I'm saying? You know, and there's a lot of cats who want to know that. Eight seven two two one three zero one one seven. Hit me up, man. Text me if you want to know some gizang or you want to fuck with some good music, man. You right. know what I'm saying? Text you before I keep you updated on my shit. Text me directly, man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. Yo, uh, the, the grind. That's the part, man. You know what I'm saying? That the step that people don't don't want to take and shit. You know what I'm saying? To where every step is strategic when you invest the money in this shit, you're taking it a lot more serious. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. That's a fact. You're taking it a lot more serious. We ain't, I ain't relying on nobody right. to do nothing right. when it comes to rap, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fuck right. that shit. Uh, but I fuck with a lot of people, though. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with a lot of people. I don't do music with a lot of people. Right. right. I fuck with a lot of people. That's what's up. So, right now, okay, how many body of projects you think you got right now? Uh. Um, um, I don't know, probably like I say somewhere right about like eight. 
Okay. And you got to dig for them because I took everything out of distribution and shit. I got right. eight. I probably got maybe 35 videos on my YouTube channel, right. music videos. Like 35, bro. That's what's up. That's on the real see through TV, and that shit gonna mark all the way back to probably 2009. Oh, and man. it's behind the scenes shit. You see my nigga Coon, rest in peace. I got um, all kind of shit, man. Making them videos, 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 making the videos. I, lo I love doing videos yeah, to my music and shit, right. you know what I'm saying? That's what's up, you know what I'm saying? That's what that people like to see the visuals anyway. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. especially this time of age, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. So, what's out of all that, out of all your body of work, what's that one song you really just like that, that that's at that one for you? Uh, for, um, uh, I, I just say the song, uh, It's the Beginning. Okay. Yeah, I say it's the beginning, man. It, it did pretty good, man. It's a song that, like, kept pushing itself. It kept carrying on, you know right. what I'm saying? Did good on numbers. The response was real good. And uh, I like the vibe of it, you know what I'm saying? It uh, caught me off guard. The hook caught me off guard. And shit, it's the beginning. It's the beginning. It's the beginning. Right. And it may be your ending. It may be your ending. But it's the beginning. Man, that's some real shit, yeah, cause you never know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's some real shit. Yeah. And so what that's, and that's in that sense, is that the more, you know, sentimental to you, too, far as just the views and everything that it got, too? Oh, no, nah, not like that, though. No, it just ride good. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah. okay, I, I, yeah, I see what you mean, I right. see what you mean, shit. Oh, uh, shit, I don't know, man, off the bat, though. That's a good question, though. That's a good question. Uh, as far as my songs, man, shit. I know you got that one you put on all the time, and you wore that motherfucker out. Probably the one with me and J-Rock. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tease. Hey, J-Rock, what's up with it, my nigga? Probably the one with me and J-Rock, man. I forgot to tell you I made J-Rock up. So my big homie live uh, at the top of the street for me, right? And he older than me. And for like probably like 10, 15 years, about 10 years straight even. Like my cousin J-Rock rap too. So right. I got a cousin named J-Rock, we doing the thing too. Oh, he was like, say man, uh, between you and my cousin J-Rock, said, you know what I'm saying, I just never met him and shit. Right, right. And as, uh, you know, time progressed on and stuff, you know what I mean, um, I had met him at a party over there. Met J-Rock at a party over there, and then I started seeing him moving uh, musically and shit, man, and then we just, we just linked up and shit, man. Yeah, man, that was a dope track y'all did. Yeah, yeah, he came with it on that hook, man. That nigga there, he very, very challenging. Yeah, I know man. that woke my eyes up. I seen y'all say, I said, man, what I say? And then you came through that one with C, uh, uh, with QP, and I was like, okay. Yeah. I Shout said, out man. to my homie, uh, B Creeks, man. Yeah. That nigga B, uh, my big homie, and they called, uh, called a nigga for about four, five weeks straight jamming that hoe in the background. Right. Like, nigga, I'm still jamming that hoe. Yeah. Before anybody got to hear that hoe, I'm jamming that hoe right now. I was like, I was like, I know when I seen it, I was like, man, people need to put their eye on them. I say, man, y'all better not be sleeping. That's what made me start, you know, sharing, you know. Like, yeah. I mean, y'all better say, y'all better pick game. We, uh, we, I fumbled that hoe, that, that song, man. I fumbled the motherfucking man, video. Why you say that? I fumbled the video because I shot it myself. I feel like we could have did better on the video. I should have really just let uh, So Nervous film that hoe. Uh, he, be, he would film most of my shit. That's one way. But, my nigga, I was finna put, um, I was finna put Mo3 on that bitch, my nigga. What? Yeah. Yo, okay. I, I, I reached out to Mo3. I reached out to his manager and shit. And they, they gave me a number and everything on that hoe. And then I hit my bro up. I'm like, damn, so what you think? Like, giving him a second verse, you know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, I play the second. I do the second verse and he do the first verse. But then, but we didn't do it though, man. He gave me the, uh, what's the manager? Um, uh, Rainwater. Yeah, yeah. yeah Rainwater. He gave me the, um, gave me the, the number and everything, you know what I'm saying? I, that, we talked about it, man. I talked to like four, five people, because I was like, who buzzing in the city? Right, right. And who, hard, who nigga going hard, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, who spitting for this song, you right. know what I'm saying? And the beat I got, the beat was a Mo3 type of beat, if you listen to it, because the nigga that made the beat, uh, shout out to, um, Damn, what's my nigga name? Uh, ah, fuck. Damn, out of uh, he out of ATL, man. The nigga that made the damn beat, he produced for Mo3. Uh, oh man, that's fucked up. It's so it's on. Damn, I can't come out of out of ATL. Out of the yeah, he out of the A. Uh, I can't, I can't remember this nigga name. Sean on the beat? Nah, Sean on the beat ain't coming to ATL though. Nah, nah, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah. 
Well, shout out to that nigga in the ATL. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I just got this nigga, uh, I think it's fresh so man. I, I, fuck, I forgot, man. Shit, yeah, yeah. So, you know, C Shrugs? C Shrugs? Oh, yeah, C Shrugs was cold. Man, say, shit. Yeah, that, was a, that was a loss right there for us, man. Man, say, man. You know what I'm saying? C Shrugs, man, say. Man, you know who another group though? Got some hard stuff a lot of people be sleeping on though. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna too much lie. Who that boy? Elite Star. Elite Star. Elite Star. Yeah, yeah, Say. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, for real, for real, man. Say at least. Splurge though. the God, that's who produced yeah. that. Okay, Splurge the God. Splurge the God, okay. that's who produced okay. hardest. I had okay. to go to the motherfucker. <laughs> shout out to Splurge, man. All right, shout out to Yeah, that's why that whole exclusive for that nigga, man. I was, I was gonna put, uh, put Mo three on that bitch, man. Yeah. I, I wish I had did the shit. Yeah, but so who you? He nah, Lee Star though, man. Yeah, nah, Lee Star. I ain't mean yeah. to cut y'all. He, hey, he been uh, he been fucking around for a long time, yeah, right? Yeah, now, yeah. Lee Star, the whole click, and uh, goddamn me, um, was the best show in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it, yeah, say. Yeah, 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 them boys dope. Say, them boys dope, you know what I'm saying? I like I like exactly the new stuff they just dropped, too. Of course, the old stuff, but yeah, the new stuff they just dropped, man, that's what's up. So, who you got your eye that, on that you want to work with later on? With, you know what I'm saying? That you ain't work with? Um, here in, in Dallas? From Dallas? I mean, it, it only matter. You can put from here and from where. I, I don't know. It don't even matter. I, want, I always wanted a sugar free track, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get one soon. Yeah, well, you, you, you see, just signed B to King, Death Row, You seen B up. King got, got one? B King got one? Yeah. Is that one on that clip I keep seeing? I on? think so. Okay. That's, why, that's why I was like, I kept saying, I said, damn, B, B King got one with Sugar Free. Sugar Free track. But uh, nah, I don't know, man. Um, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, locally, though, uh, I want to do something with uh, with uh, classic music. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Shout out Classic. Uh, yeah, shout out Classic. Yeah. Rock him out your bar, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Rock him, shout out Rock him. Boy, that boy right there. Um, in the Hill Dallas, he got promoting right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, some, it's some dope niggas in Dallas, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's some dope niggas in Dallas, bro. Uh, but, you know. Right, I know how it go. You know what I'm saying? So. I do When I do music, I don't be thinking about nobody. I know, because you in your zone, you got to be an artist. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I don't be thinking about nobody, right, man. You got to be like, artistic. Man, you got to be in your zone. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to share my shit. Yeah. But I got people that get verses from me and shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to my nigga Eclipse. You know what I'm saying? Salute. We got one that's coming up. I just did a song with him. We uh, supposed to be getting shooting a video to that motherfucker. I'm doing a movie right now um, with uh, uh, okay. uh, called uh, Unforgiven. And that motherfucker, yeah, I got the movie at home. And that, that bitch, like, just about done. Just got to end the motherfucker. Okay, who's shooting it? Uh, My niggas over there at Dream Team and shit. Okay. Uh, John John. Okay, man, yeah. shout out to the team, man. Yeah, yeah. I see y'all putting in work. Okay, so yeah. what you got in your acting on? You know what I'm saying? You got yeah. a cameo. Yeah, yeah. Acting on, okay. I got a lead role in that motherfucker. Okay, man. so what, you going to try to further that career or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah, you yeah. liking that, huh? Yeah, we working on some shit, man. You right. know what I'm saying? We working on working on some shit. Me and Jay Hawk going to do something. Man, what you know about Jay Hart, man? Shit. That boy funny as hell, boy. Yeah, Shout yeah, out Jay Hart. Hart. You know what I'm saying? Singing Hill in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Salute to the whole Singing Hills, man. Yeah. Uh, me and Jay Hart went to uh, elementary school together. I went to R.R. Right. Thornton. Oh, you went to R.R. Thornton? Okay, yeah, I went right, to Thornton. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so uh, we got a, we got a, what's the name together, bro? Um, uh, it's like a series, but we only did two episodes. I think we got like three episodes, and it was called the Uncrowned Series. Yeah. Hey, but uh, you, you ain't never seen it. Ma, you gotta put me on. All you gotta do yeah, is gotta send, send that shit to me. Send yeah. it straight to me. You know me. I, I'm gonna support it free. That's my yeah. motto. So what I did, I had had this video. What, what I did, I sat down. I because I edited the video. I'm okay. editing footage sometimes. Uh, really. So I edited this. Uh, I got some footage together. Spike Lee uh, having an interview with a chick. And the chick is asking them questions, and it sound like, and then she asks him about see through. Okay. And then he responds like, "If you look at this video, you're gonna be like, damn, this shit look real in the motherfucker. Like I just did straight camera tricks." Bah, 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 okay, bah. okay, okay. And then I released that bitch, right? And I had my music in the back, and then it showed me actually filming. The sh we shooting the video with Jeff for and shit. Jeff, he filming my video, and then we shooting from behind the scene. I got all this shit in there. It look came together though. Jeff, he, he been putting in work. And motherfuckers believe that shit. Right. So I said, okay, motherfuckers believe that that nigga, me, uh, that Spike Lee co-signed me, right? So that shit went viral, you know what I'm saying? That shit went viral on my Facebook page and on my Instagram page. Okay. So shit, what I did, I got with Jay Hawk and we created a series to where, you know what I'm saying, called the Uncrowned Series and we was like, shit, basically, we started over there at the corner store and singing hills and shit on the, on the uh, we basically made it look like 
we like I like I'm a con man, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So I'm trying to get money from people because they believe I'm finna do a movie with Spike Lee. So I played the series off of the play that I did with the Spike okay. Lee. Shit, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right, okay, yeah. So I'm, uh, man. I'm going around borrowing money from different people and shit. You know, some gangsters and some motherfucking a uh, reverend. You know what I'm saying? A shady reverend. Man, I think I seen some of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I think I, I seen like, some of that. You know, yeah. Spike Lee and shit. Spike, you know what I'm saying? And, and reverend like, well, shit, I want to get involved in this shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's that kind of shit. But, uh, I think I seen that on Jay Page. I think Jay, I think yeah. Jay was doing some shit we did. You know what I'm saying? Nigga just having fun and shit. Already, man. Yeah, I got all like all the fucking the shit, the film and shit. You know what I'm saying? So we working on working on a movie, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, um, I can't go in deep on about what it's about. We still in the writing stages, though, man. Okay. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So who been your biggest support factor? And before you answer that question, you know what I'm saying? Um, See how can I put this? Okay, who been your biggest support factor? And what would you do if you can change the hands of time? Um, my biggest support factor has been uh, has been my old lady, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to time. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Brazen the Moore. That's been my that's been my uh, been my backbone, man. My rider. You know what I'm saying? We gon' we ain't shit unstoppable, ain't shit untouchable. You know what right. I'm saying? See, we can get it out. Already. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if I could change the hands of time, uh, I would. I don't. If I could change the hands of time, bro. Damn, I think about this shit all the fucking time. The only thing I could ever come up with, bro, if I could change the hands of time, I would tell myself, like, to go invest in Yahoo or Amazon and shit, man. <laughs> Stop. Say, whatever you got in your pocket, <laughs> take, it to the, take it over there. Yeah. <laughs> Gradually <Every>, give. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that we fucking with that wee bull and that Robin Hood yeah. right now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? I was with my bro the other night, we, that's all they were talking about, just this, this, this. I, I'm like, all right, man, let me just go over here and just drop these nuts and see what I can do. Yeah, I'm about to need to put some more money on there, man. I, I'm bullshitting. I, I got some 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 bullshit chain. Nigga, laugh, see what I got on there. Nigga, say $10. Nigga, what the hell is that? But I'm going to go ahead and put some more on there and see what it do. You know what I'm saying? See how this shit go. But that's a deep question, though, bro. Yeah, that's really That's a deep is. question, man. If I could change the hands of time. Because, some, you know, some shit that you might want to change, when you really think about it, you might fuck something else. You know Butterfly what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That you might find something up that's a little bit that's a whole, whole lot valuable yeah. to you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like, damn. Uh, if I touch some shit, it'll be the smaller shit. You know? Yeah. Cause some shit a nigga gotta go through, man. Some shit a nigga gotta yeah, gotta gotta go, yeah, gotta go through. You know what I'm saying? You can't die the fucking headaches. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause you might learn that lesson differently the older you get. Ah, that's some real shit. So this is the last, this is the question I ask everybody on my podcast. You know what I'm saying? If y'all tuned in, everybody already know this question. You know what I'm saying? If you was in my shoes, what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask you? Um. What question? Mm, damn, that's a good one, man. Um. Uh, Oh, this always get them. This always. If get you, them. if I was in your shoes, what question I rather you ask me? What I'm doing this all for? What's the meaning of life? And what would your answer be? Legacy. Legacy. Yeah. Everything before you and everything that's after you. You're right. Nothing else important than that. Right. 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 See. <sighs> Ooh, man, I think that, woo, a lot, I got a lot of answers on this one, but that one right there, I don't know, y'all. I think that bites the bullet right there, legacy. You know everything, what I'm saying? Everything before you is so important because you wouldn't be here, and everything after you is fucking important. It's your job to take care of your fucking family. Take care of your kids. Take care of your seeds. Keep that legacy going. Water your flowers. Water your motherfucking flowers, man. 
Man, that's what we here today, you know what I'm saying? Giving see through his flowers, you know what I'm saying? Salute, salute. And that's what we here for, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that right there, man, that right there, and legacy is very important. That it, it's like, especially today in, in our generation, because now we, we we so disconnected, especially with the family. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We don't um we don't even like have that person who tell all the stories. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like, you know, your uncle was like this. You know, your granddaddy used to do that. Da, 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 da. You know, you know who your who your elders were. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. We don't have that. Ain't, who who t who gonna tell the fucking stories? Right. You know what I'm saying? Who gonna tell the fucking stories if everybody around this motherfucker is selfish? Man. But y'all, y'all, y'all let that sink in, man. Y'all really think about that, man. I, I, I mean, I'm really enjoying this interview right here, man. Say, so, man, the floor is all yours, man. You tell people they can reach you. Anything you want to get off your chest, any misconceptions, anything right now, the floor is yours. Man, whatever you heard about me, man, it may be true, my nigga. I don't know, because I don't know you, nigga. You probably never know me. <laughs> so it is what it is. Fuck you too. Oh, I love you too. But uh, my name is See Through. You can fucking find me at um on Instagram at See Through. Um, Twitter is the the rapper See Through. Um, you put See Through Dallas. Go to my YouTube channel, the rapper See Through. Uh, you will find all of my music and everything and shit, man. And my phone number is eight one seven. What? No, 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 no. What's that shit? <laughs> I'm trying to remember that motherfucker. Like, um, one, one seven two two one three. Uh, God damn it! This nigga got me hiding a bitch. We put it down here. God damn it! Yo, man, yo, we put oh, it down. Oh, eight seven two two one three zero one one seven. Yeah. Lock in with your boy, man. And we in the, you know what I'm saying. And for y'all that don't know, you know what I'm saying, you already know, you know what I'm saying, get up out your motherfucking ass, you know what I'm saying, get out here and live life, you know what I'm saying, everybody, each one teach one, you know what I'm saying, get out here and meet people, man, you know what I'm saying, mingle, man, shit, you know what I'm saying, like, goddamn. Live life, man. Yeah, live life live to the fullest. Life. Try to enjoy it, man. You know what I'm saying, live. Cause, Cause you may do, just don't do nothing too fucked up, man, cause, cause I, I believe motherfuckers is, you gonna have to do this shit again at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You know yeah. what I mean? So be careful what you do, man. The, the shit you step on, my nigga, god damn it, cause For real, leave that legacy clean, man. You want you know what I'm saying? Legacy is everything, man. Them stories that goes on about you in life, man. That, that that's precious, man. You know how you feel when your grandmama or your mama come in and tell that story about your granddaddy or yeah. about your whatever. Woo woo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know how they hit you, and then you know that makes that that makes your mentality like okay, I'm trying and to be some. Pictures up, ain't up even to on that. the wall no more. Right. Shit. Pictures ain't even on the wall no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna change that about my career. You know what I'm saying? The pictures ain't even on the wall no more. The family, the tree, or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like I say, man, everybody, you know, say, wake up, man, stop, stop looking down. You know what I'm saying? Look up sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Then you know how I do. You know, get that. Mm -mm, you know what I'm saying? Stay lit to light, and we will pop this bitch. <laughs> Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be.